now. Okay, ladies, in you come. Hey. What's going on here, Lisa? That lot are not putting one foot past that gate until we've got things sorted out. Oh, do me a favour. Eric hasn't even arrived yet. Look, you just leave it with me, OK? Don't you try playing one of the girls with me. It was you we all heard trying to make a profit at our expense. We'll discuss it at lunchtime, all right? All right, we'll start back to work after dinner then. Lisa! My team is not going to lift one finger until we have discussed terms. All right, we'll discuss it inside. Before he arrives, please. Come on, then. Come on, more, Bev, Gloria. Hey, tab out. Well done. Oh, yeah, got her over a barrel. <laughs> uh, how's Sam? Oh, I'm hoping to see him next week. When exactly were you thinking of going? Oh, uh, when we get the visiting order, I suppose. Right, come on, yeah. work to do. <laughs> his appetite's not been affected. That's because he's too young to understand yet. It'll be when he's older that he'll miss his dad. Like I did when Bob left, you mean? What's he got to do with it? Oh, forget it. One advantage of stopping over a corner shop is you first with all the news. Last one. Do you know, there's barely a celebrity's kid in here that's got both the same parents they started out with. Are you doing this on purpose? Whoa. Good morning. Another lazy day for you, is it? No. Plenty on, thanks. Can't remember the last time I had a lion. Still, price you pay for a successful business. Must get on. Don't forget your eggs. They'll be as scrambled as shears by now. When are we going home? Terry needs to get used to the idea. It was only yesterday he lost the case. He's in shock. No. Best time to hit him for maintenance. Mom! I don't mean to sound hard, but the sooner we can get this sorted, the sooner we can all go back to Spain. Well, it's not exactly the crack of dawn, is it? <laughs> I am unable to drive, if you hadn't noticed. Yes, well, I didn't tell you to go fiddly with the goods, did I? I've been in casualty all night. <laughs> I've been ignored, pushed to the back of the queue and ridiculed because, thanks to your ridiculous venture, I have, for the entire time, been attached, unavoidably, to a lady's handbag. I want you to terminate this project forthwith and return the materials from whence they came immediately. Eric. The workers are not qualified to do the job. <laughs> and that is saying it nicely. Sorry to disturb. Pearl, do you mind waiting outside? Well, I was just wondering if... Out! Was... One more time. No. We can crack this, Eric. Just give me till tonight. I'll pull the plug at five o'clock, ready or not. Thanks, Eric. Listen up, ladies. Steve. Wait, what? I need this afternoon off. Oh, not a chance. Look, it's a matter of life and death. I'd, I'd only be a hindrance if I stopped. My brain would be elsewhere. Look, I, I'll double the workload this morning. Yeah, you will. And this afternoon as well. I can't spare anyone, Pearl. Right, ladies. This is what we're going to do. Terry? Feeling any better? I haven't really sunk in yet. No. All things a joke, whatever way you look at it. At least you know with Dawn, you'll be in safe hands. I wish I'd never met her. That way, he wouldn't have been born. I wouldn't have to go through all this. TJ's a blessing, no matter what's happened between his parents. They're just words, Ashley. Wherever he lives, you're still his father. You'll always be an important influence on who he is, how he grows up. It's hard to be an influence with just the odd letter, isn't it? Right. Fine. You can sit where you like. There'll be no teams and no regulated tea breaks. And an extra two pound an hour. Here, here. You've got to be joking. A pound, then. A pearl? What? Oh, sorry. 50p, take it or leave it. Right, everybody out. Yeah. Lisa, have you ever thought of being a politician? Well? All right. But only if you can make me one perfect handbag that I can take to Pollard at four o'clock to persuade him that we are onto a winner. 
I dare say we can manage that, can't yeah. we, girls? Let's get away from her. She's driving me mad. Now then, Dawn, that's your mum you're talking about. I won't have it. It's always good to get it off your chest. What has she been saying now? Well, nothing. Just sitting there criticising like she's never done everything right in her life. I can think of at least one thing she got right. Thank you. Yeah. Well, don't say anything juicy while I'm gone. You know, Dad, I've spent years wondering how it is that a man can just walk out on his wife and kids. And now I'm beginning to wonder how you managed to stick her for so long. You must be a saint. I'd have gone a lot sooner, you know, if it wasn't for you and Jamie. You don't have to say that. No, I mean it. The night... Look, promise me that you won't tell her this. Go on. Well, the night that I left, I had bags packed for you as well. What? When it came to waking you up, I just couldn't do it. I, I didn't have a clue where I was going. And you were lying there, and you, you were just so safe and warm. Oh, Dad. I, I knew that you were better off with her. If I hadn't loved you so much, I'd have taken you and Jamie as well. Hey, now don't tell your mum. Come here. <laughs> What did I miss? It's catching up with that song. Are we expecting the 5,000? I want it to be nice. We should be doing this at the vicarage. No, I'm the hostess and this is my home. Anything I can do? Well, I was going to ask Ellen for some advice, but I didn't really think it was the right time. He rang. Any news of Shelley? Well, I don't think she wants to be found. What did he say? Oh, I never think of the right things to ask in these situations, unlike you. Years of training. Now, I think I'm going to do Duck in Josephine Door. Marvellous. Mm. What's that, then? Oh, Ashley, I haven't got time explaining me every little thing. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Thomas? Bernice? Is everything all right? Uh, just hang on a sec. I'll leave you to it. Yeah. No, 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 come on, Bernice, what are you saying? How's it going? We'd do a damn sight better if you didn't keep coming in, checking up on us every five minutes. I don't think you've any idea, Lisa, how much there is at stake here. We are doing the best that we can. leaves and a sprig of rosemary, please. We've got salt, pepper and ketchup. Oh, and there's some curry powder on the bottom shelf, but you better check the date. How exactly do you think that's going to help? Is everything all right? No, Emily, everything is not all right. Everything is falling down around me ears. I wondered if you fancied going for a drink later. <sighs> Emily, how can I go for a drink when I've got the bishop for supper? Oh, well, he'd be very tasty with a sprinkling of curry powder. Normally, I'm a fan of childish humour, but right now I've got too much on. I'd love to be a fly on your dining room wall tonight. Why? Well, you, entertaining the bishops like the Dingles having Prince Charles over for dinner. Is it? I just find it very amusing. And I find the idea of you actually stocking anything decent, providing a service or being any use to the village at all downright hilarious. Good day. You got fish fingers in the freezer. I was just coming to see you. How is it? Well, I'm just trying to get him off to sleep. You don't mind if we keep walking, do you? Terry, I'm sorry that you lost. No, you're not. I meant I'm sorry for you. So you decided when you're going, then? Well, I thought we'd let the dust settle on yesterday first. Look, I can't live with not knowing anymore. It's not fair. Well, not straight away. When? When I get everything tied up here. I can't be a part-time dad. Terry, don't make this any harder than it already is. We're going to Spain. Then I'm coming with you. What? I'm not losing him, Don. And if moving to Spain's what it takes, then that's what I'm going to do.
Hello. Oh, oh, can't stop heading there. I'm in a bit of a rush. Oh, oh, you're a bit old for another bad habit, aren't you, Paul? Uh, they're a gift. Oh, anybody I know? Uh, refugees, Eastern European. Well, I like to do my bit. <laughs> Not thought of food or clothing, then. Well, everyone does that. I'd just like to picture the little faces when they tear open the parcel and the ciggies fall out. <laughs> I'd love to chat in there, but uh, I've got to get the post. This is your home, Terry. You won't be happy in Spain. I wouldn't be happy anywhere away from him. I missed the house. Did a good job, didn't we? Yeah. Pity we didn't do as well with her marriage. It's no one's fault, though, was it? Couldn't have tried any harder. <laughs> I'm serious about coming to Spain. I mean, I could get an apartment nearby, get some bar work. I need a fresh start, Terry. I wouldn't cramp your style. I, I know there's going to be other people one day. That's not what I meant. I could live in Spain again if I had to. Terry, I remember the first time I saw you. Sitting on the beach with your sports pages. From a distance, it looked like you were wearing a red T-shirt. And when I got close, I realised it was your back. You never told me that. I thought it was love at first sight in that Irish pub. Well, I did want to tell you to cover up, but some people don't appreciate that. I would have done. Cried myself to sleep that night. Had to lie in my front for a week. That explains our first night together. I'll always be grateful to you, Terry. Yeah. What we felt, how can it just disappear? It doesn't. It just gets buried underneath everything that comes after. <laughs> If I was home right now, I'd just be settling down to my siesta. Oh, well, I'd hate to feel that I'm keeping you up. That's what I'm missing, you know. Pace of life and the sun. So, any fellas on the scene? Ten a penny out there, loads of them. All out on the prowl, just looking for a cheap fling. Just like Terry. I don't think Terry's ever been on the prowl. That's all he came out for. You can spot him a mile off. And unfortunately, it was Dawn he had his sights on. Ruined her life, he has. Don't you think it was the other way round? He should have known it could never work. Terry has lost everything. His wife, his health, and now it didn't work out. You want Dawn to pack up and take his son away from him without a second thought. Why are you so concerned about Terry? It's Bob you should be showing loyalty to. Unless you've got feelings for him yourself. What? Well, the way you're going on. Anyone would think you had a soft spot for him. I do, as a matter of fact. Like everybody in this village, and you'd do well to remember that if you don't want to go around upsetting people. Got it? Uh, place the pasito slices over the duck and tie on with string. Where? But where? There? Knock. Is it safe? <laughs> Loads of total mess. <laughs> Looks wonderful. <sighs> this recipe would give Fanny Craddock nightmares. You really needn't have gone to all this trouble. That's fine. It's fine. How's Bernice? Fine. Why's she cool? We'll, we'll talk after tonight. Ashley? Ashley? Tell me now. Bernice is pregnant. There are complications. You don't want me to bore you with the details. Ashley. Um, <clears throat> she, she's been losing blood throughout the pregnancy. Uh, she has a condition, uh, placenta previa, and apparently there's no treatment. The only hope is complete bed rest. It may or may not go to term. I, I told her we'd both be thinking of her. I'd like you to bear in mind that we have had to contend with Laurel having a day off, Katie ringing in sick, and Pearl disappearing into thin air. So if we've come short... Yes, it's... yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now then, Mr Pollard, Eric, uh, we'd like you to choose which of these two bags we have made in this factory today. Now, take your time. Um... Uh, 
The glue's dry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one. Final answer. Final answer. They both were. <laughs> and, <laughs> yes, not only them, but all of these. Oh, <laughs> congratulations. I never thought you could do it. <laughs> Does that mean we're going ahead, then? Well, of course it means we're going ahead. It was wonderful. Thinking back, though, it was just a holiday fling that got out of hand. I should have known better. You don't really mean that, do you? Maybe if we'd stayed out there. Oh, Terry, this is your home. It's just not mine. Just think. If I'd put on some Factor 20, we might never have met. <laughs> Saved ourselves all this. I don't regret it for a minute. Look what we've got to show for it. <coughs> oh. Better get him back to bed anyway. Yeah. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for the drink, Terry. Out in, is it? <laughs> I suppose you could say we've had a good day. Um, gin and tonic, please, Bob. And a single malt for me, please. Thank you. If you could bring it over. Oh, well. You were right. <sighs> I knew they could do it. I must say, I thought you'd be a little bit more triumphant in your victory. I've got other things on my mind, Eric. Your father. Any news of him? I never thought he'd miss her this much. You remember I told you he was in Dorston? Yes. Well, apparently he's carrying out a door-to-door -door search. I've tried to talk sense to him, but he's just not interested in anything I say. Please don't ask me to have another word with him. Oh, it's beyond that. If he was thinking straight, he'd get himself back here and forget all about Shelley. He says one person here won't run off and abandon him. And I'm sure he appreciates everything you're doing for him. Okay? Yes, Bob. No, he doesn't. All he thinks about is him and Shelley. If he wasn't so blind, he'd, he'd realise that she obviously does not want to be found. He should resign himself to the fact that he's lost her. Get himself back home to where there are those that really have his interests at heart. Not quite sure what's keeping her. Bit of a stressful day. Well, something smells wonderful. Ashley, uh, can I borrow you for a moment? How's it going? Yeah, but I had no idea. Looking good. Wine. Um, I should have put the white in the fridge and opened the red to get breathing. So can you do that for me, please? You really have quite a lot of trouble, aren't you? Ashley and the bishop, though. Not really big drinkers, are oh. you? It's not for them, it's for me. Um, it's gentlemen. Care to take your seat. Dinner is served. No, look. He failed. He was supposed to chuck the ring on the fire, but you knew he was going to keep it for himself. Oh, and when he started fighting that goblin fella. Oh. Well, perhaps we should have seen parts one and two first. I, I couldn't make Edna tell of anything that happened. I'm going to put the rubbish out. I can't talk now. Now, I was on my way, love, but something turned up. Yeah. Oh, I know, love. I'm as devastated as you are. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I promise. Wild horses wouldn't keep me away. Oh, bye, love. Bye. Bye. Anybody we know? Do I want internet banking? <laughs> Tell him you can barely use your mobile, let alone the flaming internet. Oh, that's lovely, Laura. Oh, it's nothing really. What did you say it was? Duck in Josephine Door. Exquisite. You must have been slaving all day. Not really. <laughs> Quite a fine, Ashley. Not only is she useful in a storm, but uh, she can cook one up as well. <laughs> 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 and tell me, Ethan, how's the lovely Eve getting on? Neve, uh, great. Uh, I just had a letter from her this morning. Oh, Malawi, that's where she is, isn't it? Yes, indeed, trying to treat people who don't always have the greatest trust in doctors. Oh, good for her. I think she's actually getting somewhere, though, probably due to her excellent bedside manner, professionally, of course. Uh, she's a very capable girl. Yeah. Yes, I had the choice of Africa, Central America, Plum for Aberdeen. <laughs> kind of regret it now. Right. 
It's, uh, everybody finished. <laughs> and what about you, Laurel? You travel much at all? Oh, well, um, I've been to Finland. But that was different. Ashley, we must have a chat about your post-ordination training. See if we can't find some uh, spiritual stimulation uh, to make up for anything you might be missing at home. But she can't just think about herself anymore. She's got TJ and Terry to consider in all this, hasn't she? And how much consideration did you show me and Dawn when you left us last time, eh? Not a second. How, how could we possibly discuss anything if you keep dragging us back to that all the time? <laughs> well, you're hardly in a place to be talking about parental responsibilities, are you? Part of being a parent is making sure that your kids don't grow up making the same mistakes that you did. So, you regret leaving us then, eh? I regret leaving two of you. Get us a vodka and orange, would you? Where's TJ? Viv's giving him a bath. Oh, bless. So, are all your affairs in order? Oh, I, I, I should rephrase that. Have you sorted things out with Terry? No, not really. Oh, for God's sake, Dawn. The time you're taking to say goodbyes, anyone would think you didn't want to come back to Spain. It's not that easy, is it? Well, I'm getting fed up hanging around here waiting. I might just go back on my own. Well, you wouldn't want that, would you? Stuck in this place whilst I'm back out in the sun, leading the life of Riley. Dawn? <laughs> 